Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rini, this is the Enchanted Planner, and today we're going to set up for holy cromoly the month of March. <laughs> Can y'all believe it? I'm kind of stunned, to be honest with you. Like, it's some crazy that we are almost in March. Like, I know February is a short month anyways, but it's like crazy to me that we are in March. Okay, so my current planner is, my catch-all is rather thick, so I don't really want to overstuff it. So we're going back to my holding planner. I'm just gonna use my um, daily. So we're gonna grab, we'll start with the month of March in this planner, which is my vertical. And we'll stick that here in the front. And then we're going to go in with my dashboard and we're gonna grab the month of March in here. <clears throat> get that out of the way and slip that guy right here and then we're going to go in with my teacher planner and scoop the month of March from here and apparently I forgot to take a picture of that but <laughs> there you go <laughs> not that much has actually happened on that front oh my gosh yeah it's just it's, the struggle is real people the struggle is real okay so I've got a list of kind of fun holidays to give some sparks of creativity. Um, it came off of Brownie Locks. I will link that in the description, which reminds me, I actually need a piece of paper to write that down <laughs> because Menno Brain is bad today. I don't want that pen. Let's get a different pen. Um, let's write that down. Okay, and also um, I've talked about this in the last few videos and I just wanna make sure cause not everybody watches every video, which is cool, but I also like to kind of keep you guys in the loop. Um, I've had some life stuff come up that needs to kind of be dealt with. So if I kind of disappear on you and there's no uploads, you'll know why I will be back. <laughs> <laughs> Once I get it all together so far, I'm, I, it's all working, right? But it, just in case, I, I don't want to ghost you with no explanation. So, you know, always check the community tab, which is on the channel. And if you go to the community tab, you'll see an update there. Um, I'll keep you guys in the loop. Second, I have a nutrition sort of deal and challenge going, not deal, a nutrition challenge and um, education format for the month of March. If you'd like to join me, there is a sign up in the description. Okay, so now let's move into this. So in March, I like to pre-plan my spreads, which is why like I'll go looking for a list of fun things or I'll go through my sticker books and I will take a look and see what I haven't used in a long time and slot those in so I don't have to make the decision all the time because decision fatigue is real. We make so many decisions on the daily anyways that not having to make a ton of them is also really good. So by doing the decision-making ahead of time, I'm sparing myself a little bit of grief because when you're a content creator, and at this point right now, I'm doing three spreads, at least three spreads a week. I was doing content seven days a week and doing four planners. It was a little hard to come up with different ideas. So just a little bit of you know proactive work in the beginning. So I think I wanna try and see if I can do something for Dr. Seuss Day, because I think that'll be fun. And that's on March 2nd. Okay, and then the next week, of course, will be International Women's Day. So we'll be doing something for that. International. <clears throat> so how's it all been? Women's Day. I don't know exactly what I'll do for that yet, but we'll see. I'll find something. And then the next week is we've got Donald Duck Day or we've got National Tequila Day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god uh let's go donald duck and like i said i i haven't seen the challenge themes yet because i'm filming this just slightly before when they release them because this has to go up on monday and monday's a holiday for me in canada so um i'm filming this at like thursday <laughs> thursday is it friday i think it i can't remember what bloody day it is it's the end of the previous week um hang on let me write that down the 13th so, and the challenges don't go up. The earliest one goes up on the 19th and that's from uh, Squared Plans and um, Ashley from Planning from A to Z. But I'm filming this just slightly before that. So I don't have that information. This will be the Spring Equinox. Equinox. Okay. And then we have this last week. And what do I want to do here? I'll probably do like a full spring day. <laughs> now, um... Hmm. Barnum, and ba uh, Barnum and Bailey Day is in here too. National Crayon Day is in here. 
I don't know. Maybe here we'll do Happy Blooms because I haven't actually had that sticker book out for a while. <clears throat> okay, so that will take care of the pre-planning in my eh, <laughs> vertical. The next one over is my dashboard. My dashboard, my dashboard. Okay, so we're gonna go along the same lines here. So this week is also Princess Week, which might be fun because I like pulling out the, <laughs> the Disney princesses. Maybe I'll use the Strong at Heart ones because I haven't used those in a while. Strong at Heart princess. Okay, so that's, oh, I better make a note. That's princess day on the third. And then again, we have International Women's Day, but we also have Barbie Day on the 9th, which I thought might be fun. I've never done a Barbie type spread before. I don't know that it'll work necessarily all that well in this planner, but hey, why not give it a try, right? Something different. And um, so it stretches my creativity. So that's on the 9th. And then the next week is It's not really, because I've already used the Donald Duck Day. Uh, there's National Tequila Day, but that might be a better one. No, you know what? Maybe we'll put that on here. I'll end up doing it either in here or in my health planner, which is a funny place for it. But, you know, I'm all about that cheekiness. <laughs> National Tequila Day is on the 18th. And then, of course, this next week is the Equinox. So I will probably do something again in here for the Equinox. I didn't look at when Easter lands this year. That's one thing I forgot to check. It should be on the monthly, right? If Good Friday is in St. Patrick's Day. Oh, I totally forgot about St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> oh my gosh, who am I? Um, so that would be this week. Ooh, could move that to the health planner and do at least one St. Patrick's Day spread. Have to do at least one. Yeah, I'm in autopilot and I hadn't even like thought about that my husband's birthday is also the 16th so there's that too okay so if I can get back to my little scheduled thing here um so this week again hmm, hmm the equinox is right on the Monday so this is like the first full week of spring let's just make things easy it leaves it kind of open so I can combine a few things as well um, and then this last week, maybe we'll try the Barnum and Bailey one. Maybe I'll pull out some like circus stuff, right? Barnum and Bailey day is the 28th. <clears throat> and then that should bring us to the end of that planner. And then let's move into my health planner. So the first week, there's not really much going on outside of that. So I think this is maybe where we will think about ah, some of the sticker books I haven't used in a while. So I haven't used the health and fitness sticker books in forever, like the ones with all the icons and stuff. And I could, I used the wrong, wrong ones not too long ago, but like I haven't used the old style Happy Planner ones. So maybe we'll try that route. And then this next week is again, um, National Women's Day, but it's also Mario Day on the 10th, which might be fun in here. Okay. And then this next week is St. Patty's Day. <laughs> now that I've actually thought about it, I'm like, oh yeah, St. Patrick's Day. Um, St. Patty's, which I, I got like a bunch of clovers we can use, right? Or I'm going to put hubby's birthday because maybe I'll do like a birthday cake one. And then based on these, I will pull sticker books that meet that requirement because <laughs> I don't know exactly what's going to be needed yet, right? And then this week is, again, the week of the Equinox. So um, let me see here. We could do a bunnies spread, eggs and bunnies, because it's really synonymous with the spring Equinox as well. So what do we want to do? It's also purple day on the 26th so maybe we'll go that way purple day on the 26th because you know I can't pass that up right it's also spinach day I should probably note that spinach 
which is green. <laughs> so purple and purple and green. That's funny. Okay, and then this one. Oh, this is the one week I was thinking about doing that National Tequila Day, but I really want to do. Okay, I'm going to slip it in there just as an idea. We have choices. Choices is important. And then I think this one, maybe we'll do something. There's like a National Crayon Day on the 31st. And I'm sure in my teacher books, I have a whole bunch of like, it's either crayons or pencil crayons. National Crayon Day is on the 31st. Okay, so that takes care of sort of choosing the themes. Now we're gonna flip back to my catch-all monthly and we're gonna note a few things on here. I will have to come back in here and add in all of the bill slips once I put them into my budget planner, but we're gonna start here first. Now, I think I'm last March, I did a transition spread in the monthly, which I'd never seen done before. Now I see them all, all over the place, but I'd never seen a transition spread done in the monthly. So I went from winter to spring. Um, I don't know what I want to do for an overall vibe. Um, maybe I'm just, I mean, it's very much, it's about spring, right? So I'm just gonna make myself a note there. Now I have a doctor's appointment on the 27th. Um, I have hubby's birthday there. The new moon is there and the full moon is there. Okay, so let's take a look in my budget planner and get everything sort of set up in here. So let's pull out these, so they're out of the way. Um, it is predated because I did that last month. I'm like, well, that took a while. I should probably not do that, have it dated ahead of time. So we just need to actually slip these guys all into the places they go. And then once I get this planner all set up, um, I will, because I'll set this probably up before my catch-all monthly. So then I'll move all of these to my catch-all monthly. Because I, I tried January and January was no bueno, not having everything on <laughs> was terrible. Oh my gosh, I missed a few things because I, I don't look in this planner every day. I'm always in my um, catch-all monthly. This one, not so much. All right, so let's just lift these guys up so I can get this done here. So we're gonna put that on the 11th and then we'll put this on the 15th. Now, if you've not seen one of my setup videos before, I'll put the payday down there as well. And then we'll stick that guy on top of it because that's its replacement. I gotta throw the other one out. I don't know why I just did that actually. That makes no sense whatsoever. Let's put that one down there and then throw that one out. <laughs> that's why we have new ones. Um, I reuse a lot of these stickies from month to month. Um, this date will probably change, but I will check my visa statement um, before I start setting everything up. But some of these don't change. Now, some of these are payments that go through my bank account automatically. And some of them are <clears throat> stuff I physically have to pay and some are stuff that go to my visa. But years ago, what happened was I wasn't really good about keeping up on my uh, bank statements and bank recs. <clears throat> so there was a company that had been auto charging me to, I think it was my visa. Yeah, because we didn't have debit visas then. Um, and uh, yeah, they, something in their system stopped charging me. So they came at me wanting all of this money at the time. It was like a couple hundred dollars. I'm like, no, I've been paying you. But then when you looked back, it actually hadn't been posting. So there was that problem. All right, so I'm just gonna whip through here quickly. So we have rent. These are the fixed expenses, rent, utilities, um, sales. <clears throat> there was another one I put in this category. There's rent, utilities, sales. Uh, car insurance. Oops, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> okay, that's all the ones I can think of off the top of my head for fixed expenses. But yeah, so I'm using these. I kind of have an overview and then I have these ones which I go through on each of Hubby's paychecks or, you know, sort of mid-month and, and sort of below. So Hubby gets paid um, mid-month not that you can see it right now but so he gets paid mid-month and the end of the month so what i've been doing is the payday that's here goes on i'm going to try and get ahead if that makes sense so this payday here will be sorry i have the wrong dates on my slip this yeah so february 28th will be for the first half of the month and then the march 15th will be for the last half of the month if that makes sense 
So then what I do is I come over here and it's another one that I got off of a lease and I just use this kind of thing. And it's been working not bad. It, you know, this planner is only effective if I actually remember to use it and I've been very hit and miss. So I'm moving in the right direction. It's a slow process, but I'm moving in the right direction. This is a very new world for me, <laughs> very new world. But I think that's a wrap, you guys. Yeah, we got through all, all of my planners. Now, the thing is too, I'll show you what I've been using in here, my journal. I had bought this really nice sort of tarot planner printable, which has like all this great stuff in here and you can put your birth chart in and you can do like your, I, I haven't filled any of this out. Um, you know, you can put your birth chart in and then as well as you've got your like yearly reading and then you can do all your notes and whatnot and then it's got like a monthly calendar and it takes you through all this stuff. So I've been using this which is why you really haven't seen my um, horizontal because the horizontal wasn't really working so I thought I'd try this. Um, I'm going to finish out this month with this but I don't like this as much and I think it's because I'm not decorating it. That's part of the problem. Oh I got to fill out my, I got a back plan. Um, so I think I might switch to a bullet journal for my tarot is my thoughts. I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm so, I can't make up my mind on anything, it seems lately, but I think it's just because I've got too much on the go. All right, that's officially a wrap, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button on your way out. We're approaching 3,000 subscribers, which is fantastic because I was thinking about starting some new fun challenges um, once we reach the 3,000 mark. So make sure you hit the subscribe button on your way out. Um, again, check the description for the information on the nutrition challenge and keep an eye on the community board if I suddenly disappear and there's no uploads and then you'll get sort of a, an up-to-date um, on what's going on. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I'll see you next time.